Hello there. Get knocked out. Get, oh, it's knocked out. So... What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome back to another episode of Modded Ark Eternal Crystal Isles. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. All right, we are back, and today I want to check something out because I've heard there's a bunch of uh, new bugs, kind of like the oil and, and water bugs, but they do very special things also there was an update for the awesome spyglass since the last episode and there is also uh, wild bionic giga spawns so I just want to come over here real quick and we can check out the changes in the awesome spyglass zerp zerp come on lagginess and six for our awesome spyglass Okay, so first things first, uh, you can see that there's a compass monitor on the top, which is amazing, especially with the transmitter showing you uh, where the coordinates for a dino are. So you can actually see exactly where you're at now without having to have a compass. This just makes the, the uh, awesome spyglass even better. But when you have it out, it also puts a white outline around every single dino in the area. Just look at that so much easier to find them I mean oh that's just so perfect like you can see three dillos just hanging out down there which we would not be able to see if it wasn't for this there's a bunch of otters over there what else we got here man really really cool update for this guy I will say so what's this fighting over here uh is that looks like but uh, come on why aren't you showing up tech Rex and is that a tech stego elemental ice Kentrosaur oh, okay interesting well we kill that guy we should I don't know he was knocked out so maybe we didn't up oh, wrong one we're supposed to get electronics from killing those guys now well, yeah, I don't see any, but anyway, uh, I want to go check out the wild bionic gigaspawns real quick just to see what we got. I saw a lot of them oop, right up north here near the cold area, kind of right in that ocean area between it. I know it's a little bit blurry and hard to see because the map takes a while to load. Nope, uh, back over here, and if we really want to speed things up, zerp. Oh yeah, get speedy, don't crash the server. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, I worry about crashing the server sometimes when I do that. Alright, nearly there though. Just kind of looking around while we do it. So I'm not sure if the wild bionic gigas are actually uh, tameable. I we, we are going to look to see if they do have a uh, topor to them. Uh, also, I think we're going to check to see if bionic giga was removed from the spawner as well. But there should be a few of them right in this area according to the tech transmitter. Up, oh, there's a guy right there. The one thing got to worry about is getting into the water. Oh, it looks like it turns red when it aggro's. Let's try and bring him over here towards the land. Wait, what are you? Why are you just not moving? Oh, this is the level six hundred. Noise. Right now, can we bring you over? Oh, there's. Man, looks like tech spawns have increased quite a bit because we got a tech. Up, oh, Zerp Rex here. 
And... Yeah, I didn't see getting any element from that guy. Man. What is with the lags over here? Alright, come on, my friend. You know you want to die. He's getting pretty close. Are you really running away from me? Don't you dare run away from me. Okay. Wow. The server really... I might need to do a dino wipe at some point. If it's that laggy. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get it, get, get it murderized. Get murderized. You can do it. So, I have seen XB do this. And have seen that you get some really cool stuff, so I want to be able to show it off myself. Because why not? Come on. It's almost dead. Oh, it does have a topor, so it looks like you can just get Bionic Gigas out in the wild now. Uh, wow, that's pretty amazing. So we got Futuristic Orbs, 40 of them. That is a ton. I don't even remember what we use those guys for anymore. Anything else down here that we got? I really got to empty this guy out. Oh, we got electronics and element from killing the techs, I guess? Hi there. I love how this thing, it shows things turn red when they've aggroed to you. Oh, see, he just aggroed to me. That is so, so cool. Just want to see if there's anything else amazing over here I know there's many many bionic gigas in the region that's pretty awesome let's head over to the boss spawner real quick which is right in this area right over there and see if you can still spawn in the bionic giga I can imagine you probably can't now, now that they are a wild spawn. Which I think is definitely an interesting change. So, almost here. Oh, yeah. And, wait. There it is. Land. Okay. So... Bionic Giga. Search Bionic. Bionic. Huh, I don't remember which area it was in. Oh yeah, you can still spawn in a Bionic Giga here as well. But it's probably easier to get one out in the... Well, not easier because you have to deal with the fact that it's not in a contained location. But easier in the fact that you can find a completely max level guy. That's for sure. Also, I don't know if it did that before. But if you look at a tame dino, it says max level. That's cool. Well, I got to head back to the base. Get a bunch of like Trank stuff so we can go to the desert. And try to tame up some of these brand new bugs. Alright, we are back. And there is a, I believe, DNA jug bug. Eternal DNA jug bug somewhere over here around 8310. So just kind of looking up there at the top left. Which makes it so much better. Try to see where we can find it. Probably somewhere around these islands. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm very excited. There's uh, three other Eternal Jug Bugs that I want to try to get. This is the only one I saw that was available right now. Hello there, Leedsy. So, 83 and 10 should be somewhere right around here. Is that it? Eternal DNA Jug Bug 560. So I'm a, the one thing I am a bit concerned about is what it's going to take. So I'm going to try the regular alpha stuff first. Ooh, you do look cool looking. Or are you a passive tame? I probably should have looked. Gives dino DNA when you take resources. Takes as a normal KO tame with 
Herbivore food requires prime trank to KO. Okay, so I think the prime is what I have here. Hello there. Get knocked out. Get, oh, it's knocked out. So it needs herbivore food, which I don't really have any... Okay, there you are. Any um, of the special berries on me, but we should be fine either way. I don't know why sometimes when I walk, it's uh, giving me the noise of like a big stomping dinosaur. Actually, hold on. The much faster way. Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of berries this way. Let's go ahead and get rid of our awesome spyglass now. Uh, it's a little bit more distracting with the changes that they've had, but it is very, very cool. So, we can put some berries on you. I hope you tame up pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. It's going to take a little bit. That's for sure. Probably fat. Oh, wow. It is losing consciousness really, really quick. Oh, gosh. Uh, feed lots of narco. Lots and lots of narco berry. Okay, well, I'm going to work on getting this guy tamed up and probably just uh, bring him back when he's tamed and at the base and we can check him out. I want to try to get the other three bugs in this episode, so not going to waste too much time with all of it, but I do want to show you at least knocking them out and seeing what they're capable of, so I will bring you guys right back. All right, we got this guy in here. Just kind of bringing him into kind of an area to try to store these guys at. Somewhere over here. But he does look very, very cool. I'm just going to have him unfollow. Look at you. Aren't you cute? And a little weird looking. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Oh, yeah. Wow. What a, what a crazy bugger. Look at those big, weird antennae. Anyway, uh, let's turn off that and it seems like these guys are pretty easy to uh, take the resources from it actually shows you right there how much is left in the resource so it's 200 out of 200 come hold down on E take resources and wait wh wh where are you going wait where'd he go oh he went flying away when we took the resources from him weird anyway look at that his resources seem to come back quite quickly, I will say so. Come back over here, my friend. I will look at his stats here real quick. Maybe not the stats of all of them, because I can imagine the stats are probably pretty close to the same, since they're all bugs. Yep, oh, wrong button. And, let's see, what kind of stats do you have? Uh, wow, 146,000 health. 18,000 stamina, oxygen food, nobody cares. Weight, 18,000. Melee damage, 826. And movement speed, 225. Wow, I think I'm going to be pumping health mostly to uh, keep up their survivability. So, yeah, that's pretty... Actually, how many? How much DNA did we get from that? I didn't even look. 20. All right, so... When it has full 200, you get 20, so it's about a 10 time thing. Like, divide how much is in there, uh, how much it says, by 10, and that should be how much DNA you get. But I, I'd probably just say wait till it's full and come over and grab some more. Personally, I'm okay on DNA. I rhymed. That was funny because of this uh, God Shrine for DNA. I have a uh, I have a crap ton of it right in here. So yeah. Anyway, I am going to try and look for more of them. I did look over here, and that was the only type that was showing up right now. If we go uh, bug, so eternal DNA jug bug, and it's not showing that the blood, heart, or element jug bugs are around right now. The one I really wanted is the element jug bug. But I think I'm going to do another Dino Wipe and hopefully have some spawn. That's what I'm just going to probably just keep trying to do. Do Dino Wipes and try to get some of these guys to spawn. 
So I'll bring you guys back in so we can check out uh, whichever one comes next. And we're back. So I decided I'd just go ahead and wait to get all the rest of them because it was a while of waiting around for all of them to spawn. I just kind of had to wait a while and it's kind of funny because oh, it seems like they kind of have an order of which one spawn first. So first you have the DNA guys who seem to spawn in first after you've done a dino wipe. And then you have... Oh, Take off backspace. Then you got the Dino Heart Jug Bugs that seem to spawn in second. Then you have the uh, the Blood Guys who spawn in third. And last and defi definitely not least, we have the Elemental Jug Bug. And this is the only one that spawned, too. Only one of these guys spawned. It's really interesting looking, though, how gray and weird it is. But we got 20 DNA from you. How many hearts are we going to get? From harvesting you take resources 20 dino hearts so it looks like it's 20 from each time but they do tend to refill pretty quickly so take resource yep 20 dino blood and what about my eternal jug bug what you gonna give me 20 element oh yeah that is so so good so yeah that's those guys they weren't really that hard to Knockout, as you saw from the first one, pretty much just takes one of the prime poison uh, darts to knock them out. Uh, where are they? Yeah, the prime poison darts right here to knock those guys out. So it's pretty, pretty easy. There is one more thing I do want to show you for this episode. Let me just try to put some of this stuff away here real quick. Oh, zerp. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll just start to mention it. Uh, you guys know that a couple episodes ago I tamed the fertile rabbit that I got into a spectral rabbit and I heard that the spectral rabbit can lay um, fertilized eggs of other dinos so what I was doing wrong is I needed to be able to mate them mate uh, you have to mate spectral rabbits together and then they will make a random fertilized egg of another dino. So, while I was waiting for those guys to spawn in, I went ahead and tamed up another rabbit here. And one of them we have is Roger the Rabbit, if I can see their names. And then we have Jessica Rabbit. Yes. Yes, we do. Roger Rabbit and Jessica. So the, the weird thing about this, though, is I tamed one up because uh, our Roger was already a female. Yeah, and then I tamed up a male, which turned into a female after I, it, it was a male fertile rabbit who turned into a female spectral rabbit after I put the silver uh carrot on it which is really weird that it changed sexes when it evolved don't understand why that happened so i just used a sex change potion to change our roger rabbit into a male so that they can mate now is going to be the hard part i've never okay so i've never actually used this hatchery before so i'm excited to try it out here uh we're just gonna try and mate these guys i'm sorry i'm probably gonna cut out a lot of the uh, waiting just because of the fact of the whistling can kind of get annoying so options no I always forget where they have uh, a naval wandering yep there uh, and then get you to behavior naval wandering and now the fun of whistling forever and ever and ever until this guy is uh, done mating so uh, it looks like it's not going to take that long. I'm just going to keep at it for the next probably minute or so. And bring you guys back in when she's ready to lay an egg. Alright guys, we're back in here. 93.8%. 97, probably one more tick and we'll get it. Here we go. It's laid an egg. Now I just got to do the fun bit of behavior, disable wandering, behavior... Disable wandering and nope nope ewing just to make sure nobody moves Okay, 
Now, I think the egg automatically got picked up by Eternal Egg Collector. I'm hoping, yep, it's a fertilized poison pteranodon egg. Parents are Jessica and, Ro uh, and Roger. Elemental poison pteranodon egg. That's cool. I kind of want to incubate this guy and see what we can get from it. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff started. I do need to run power over into this area. So, I'm going to take care of that, start to get the incubation done, and bring you guys back in in just a moment. Alright, guys. We're back. So, I'm not really sure how to use this thing. Maybe we just throw the egg down. So, I'm going to drop you down there and see if that does it. I did... Get it turned on and powered, and it just got picked up. I'm going to have to turn egg collection off for the second, just in case that's what's doing it. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you have to, like, put it in here or put it on top. I've never actually washed or tried incubating anything on the uh, S-plus hatchery myself. Wait, what's going on? Did... Oh! You toss it at it and it gets picked up. Huh! That's cool. Uh, so... I think the yellow bit is the incubation. I hope. Spoil time is extremely high. So, what's it doing? Yeah, just drop transfer. So I think it's uh, just time to wait around here and see what happens when this guy has uh, got incubated and looking good. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back in here and it hasn't been very long at all. It looks like it's very close. Let's see, 9 out of 100 incubation left. I keep going in and out because it seems to update once you've done that. So, yeah, it looks like it's just about done. Oh, wow. They, they laid... Yeah, they, they... See, when they're not mating, they just lay random uh, eggs, which is pretty cool. So, it's a good way to get some kibble made if you don't have something like a kibble vending machine. Let's see. It's right at one of zero. Not really sure what you're supposed to do now no maybe it just gets it to that one and you gotta finish it off yourself let's try taking it out and go over here farther away from it maybe and drop it on the ground Oh, it, yep, it released. Sweet. We have a little baby poison pteranodon. Sorry about that. Things froze up there for a second. But we got our little baby pteranodon. It's a baby poison pteranodon. What level? 805. Not too bad. It's probably all kinds of random levels. But let's put some meat on you so you can eat just like that. And it's going to want care an hour and 11 minutes i'm not going to worry about it too much actually one thing i haven't gotten to try yet are some of these special potions for babies so uh mating potion breeding reset potion gestation potion use this potion to get that baby the hell out of the pregnant creature <laughs> Uh, baby potion, miss your chance to imprint, or maybe your dino isn't breedable. Use this potion to set it back to its early years and allow for imprinting. Uh, I know there's one that's supposed to bring it up. Oh. Hey, you're following me. Stop it. And you're probably on wandering too. Yep, behavior. Disable wandering. I love that old school, uh, thing there. So... Which one was it? It, uh, I'm, I know it's one of these, but not sure which one it is. Let's go to search potion. Suicide, bigger potion, mind wipe potion, mating potion, 
Gestation Potion, Mind Flash Potion. If given to your creature, it will reset all stats and gives it the maximum experience. Should not be consumed by humans. Alright, but that's just like the Dino Mind Wipe, right? It's like the exact same thing. Uh, Eternal Grow Up Potion, okay. Age up baby dino and fills its food to full. So one of these guys and I think we need one of those reset ones. So it gives it all of its, uh, what is it? Not gender, mating. It's one of these guys, gestation. I think it's the baby potion. No, there's one of these that gives it its imprinting, I think, right? Maybe this guy gives it full imprinting? Not really sure. Anyway, we'll just try it out and see what happens. Might as well. Haven't gotten to use one of these yet, so... T and E. And we have a fully grown up poison pteranodon. So, so cool. Let's, uh... Wow, it's, it doesn't really raise its health up, but we can always fix that with one of you guys. Come on, transfer over. Just like so. Should do it. Let's get you out of the floor. Okay, don't tell me you're stuck in the floor. That would be stupid and dumb. Come on, come this way. Okay, well, it's stuck in the floor anyway. I'll just use the pickup guy to fix that in the future. But, gosh, our base is so super amazing and lag-filled. Well, I think on that note, guys, we're going to end things off for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the daily videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, don't forget to live long and prosper!